Hello world. Today I'm going to do a short guide on how to create a ROS workspace and a ROS packet. The first thing I'm going to do when creating a ROS workspace is to create a directory. In order to do that, you can use the mkdir command for make directory. And then we can name our workspace with email. Right? You can name it whatever you want. But for this series, we'll be using this workspace a lot. So we'll name it beginner guide. And then in this workspace, we'll uh, create an SRC folder. So if you take a look on the left, we actually created a workspace. It's called beginner's guide. Inside is your SRC. And within your SRC, it's empty for the time being. Now we're going to need to change our directory to our workspace. You can do that by using the cd command, which is to change directory. And then we'll type the name of our workspace. And now we are in, you can see that we are in the workspace as this is the directory being highlighted. If you want to see what's inside that certain or specific uh, directory, you can use this command ls which is to list what's inside. And it also shows that your SRC folder is within your ROS uh, workspace. What you're gonna do now is to build using the captain uh, make command. This will uh, help with building your ROS workspace. And if you take a look in your beginner guide folder for your workspace, you have two more folders. The build folder or the build space is where the default look is the default location where CMX is invoked to configure and build packages in the uh, source space. Next, the develop or the development space is where your executables and libraries are placed prior to being involved. And going back in, in depth to the first folder that we created, the SRC folder or the source space contains the source code that where you can clone, create, and edit source codes for the packages that you want to build. Do take note that these folders are not empty. And previously, uh, the, the SRC was empty. Now it has this uh, cmakelist.x file. It is also important to take note that you do not want to edit anything in these two uh, folders only edit the one in your source or SRC space. Now that we have um, made our workspace, what we're going to do is source the workspace. The path is important. So source eval setup there is how you're going to source your workspace. And if you want to know if your workspace is sourced correctly, you can use these commands at home. ROS underscore package underscore R. So you can see that your workspace is properly sourced in the environment. Now I'll be showing you how to create a package. The first thing you want to do when creating a package is go into your uh, source folder using the same command, make directory, src. Now that we're in our src, we can go ahead and create a package using this command. Create a okay, captain, sorry. Create package. And when we want to create a package, we definitely have to give the package name. So we'll name this package beginner tutorials. So this package will contain all the files that we'll be using for this series. And after giving the package a name, we can actually include um, dependencies that will be necessary for the package. The uh, few that we will be using would be std ms g and I and Ross. 
So now we have created a, a package, created some files and some folders. Let's take a look. So this is now your package. And in your package, it has two folders and two files. Now that we have created a package, we need to build the package. So we'll go back to the main directory. We'll go into our Ross workspace. And the same thing that can make. And we'll make sure we'll source the file or the path. And we'll use the echo command to double check that everything is sourced correctly. There you go. So you can see that the workspace is completely created and completely built. To learn more about ROS, you can actually click the link below in the description. And if you have any questions, you can leave a comment below. If you enjoy watching the video, give the video a thumbs up. And if you are looking forward to more videos, hit the subscribe button. Until then, see you in the next video.